Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Mission of Black with another video, and today I'm going to show you the type of computer you need to take editing seriously. Uh, now, really, you can, uh, you know, edit in any computer, uh, but some com computers are a lot more favorable than others. So, how about we get started? Uh, now, I recently built a new computer, and it was specifically for editing and playing video games, which is basically what I do. Uh, and I'm going to tell you some of the things that I took into mind while I was building this computer. Uh, and maybe it might help you guys out if you guys are into building your computers. Uh, so how about we get started. Uh, first things first is your CPU. Uh, I have, uh, yeah, I use Bing. Uh, I like the background. Okay, whatever. Uh, now, uh, the CPU is pretty important when you're editing. Uh, I would go to a high-end i5 quad-core or a high-end AMD uh, uh, four-core processor. Uh, so really... Uh, here, hold on. I'll go to the PC Spark Picker. This is a great site. It's awesome. Uh, so how we look at our CPUs? If we'll load up. I'm not using my uh, computer that I built right now because it's installing Windows. And I just decided this was the perfect time to make that this video. Uh, so how about we go down over here and cores. We're going to go to 4 all the way to 8. This is really good. Uh, usually it's good to look through ratings. Ratings are pretty easy to look at. So if you just go to ratings, people know what's up. Like, see, high-end i5. These cores are definitely great for editing. All of these are great for editing. Uh, I don't see any problem with any of these right now. So far, there's no problemo. Uh, yeah, all of these graphics cards are great for editing. And when you're looking at a... Not graphics cards, sorry. All these CPUs are great for editing. And when you're looking for a good CPU to edit with, uh, just make sure the gigahertz, per s the gigahertz are not too bad. Uh, really, I would say that around... Uh, anything below 2 is pushing it, so just don't go below 2. Uh, but one thing that's very important is the amount of cores you have, so I'm definitely going to go to 4 all the way through 8 cores. Anything in between is good. Uh, make sure you remember to overclock your CPU, and if you don't know what that means, it means that you, you know, boost the, the capability of your CPU. A lot of tutorials online to do this. Uh, so yeah, let's move to our, our motherboard. Our motherboard is not important at all. Well, it's important in the computer, but when you're editing, it's not important at all. You can just choose anything. I'll just choose uh, the highest rated CPU, the G Mwah, motherboard. So yeah, anything here. Uh, this one's great. I, I personally have the... I have this one. So it's pretty good. Uh, now, this the memory is very important when you're editing. This is the most important thing I would say when you are making a computer, especially for editing. Now, there are two... Um, there are a bunch of speeds for uh, for memory, or RAM, otherwise known as random access memory. Uh, now, if you don't want to spend too much, go with the 1333. This is uh, pretty much the lowest speed that they sell now. And really, you don't need anything faster if you're going to be editing. Uh, you can get the 1600, but you're not going to notice a uh, speed difference. Uh, if you look over here, there's, uh, <clears throat> there's 1600 right here. I have 16 uh, gigabytes of 1333. Uh, now, you don't really need this if you're going to make a computer for gaming, because when you're gaming, uh, your RAM never goes above 8 gigabytes. It doesn't even go close to 8 gigabytes. So, when you're, if you're making a rig for gaming, you definitely don't need this. But when you're making a rig for editing, you need a lot of RAM. So, 16 to, through 32 is a great amount of RAM. So, if you go to the right side over here, uh, go to 16 gigs. 16 is great. This, this is the kind of RAM you need when you're doing a, a rig for especially editing because a lot of programs, editing programs specifically, they do use a lot of RAM. I mean, if you look at uh, After Effects, when you're doing a high-end render, uh, it's going to use a lot of your RAM. And, you know, 8 gigabytes may cut it for some of you if you're not really doing intense stuff. But for most editors, 16 gigabytes or above is, is great when you're editing. Uh, so now let's go to storage. Now, personally, for storage, I have three hard drives. Three hard drives. Uh, I have an SSD, so these are this. They're super fast. Uh, they're like flash drives, basically. And they're really fast. I have 120 uh, Kingston, I think. And all that has on it are my programs. So that hard drive, my SSD. Let's just click on this one. So my SSD, this thing right here, it has my operating system, so that's Windows. Uh, it also has After Effects, Sony Vegas, and 3DS Max. Uh, a little bit of it also has Photoshop in it. So there's all these programs on there. And the reason I put it on my SSD is because of fast load times. 
Uh, so as soon as I click the After Effects, it opens up instantly. It's really fast-paced. Now these SSDs are very expensive. So uh, you know, if you if you don't want super speed, you don't have to get this. If you have some money left in your budget, definitely go for it. But 120 gig is more than enough for what you need to do. Um, I also have a one terabyte hard drive, which is basically for programs that I don't deem, you know, high end. So like smaller programs, maybe like FL Studio or something, uh, Windows, uh, not Windows, sorry, uh, Firefox. Uh, you know, programs that I don't really use. Uh, and also for my games, it, it also has my games stored in the one terabyte. And then I have a 750 uh, hard drive, and that has all of my video footage. Uh, so if I'm rendering something, it goes directly into that, into that uh, hard drive. Uh, so for example, th these are some dust elements from Action of Essentials 2. And if it loads up, see this is exactly what I need in your computer. It has all these dust elements, and this file is pretty huge. It's like 16 gigabytes as a whole. So that's definitely going to be stored on my, my hard drive that I use sp uh, specifically for video, not video, yeah, for videos. For like random edits, pictures and stuff that I have, that's that's what it goes to. So you don't really need three hard drives, but I would definitely recommend that you get an SSD if you have the money and have at least one terabyte if you're going to take this editing thing seriously. Next up is our video card, our gra GPU, graphics processing unit. Uh, this thing is pretty freaking important. Uh, well, to a certain extent, I'm guessing. Uh, now, I have this one right here. I have this the R9 280X. It's pretty freaking awesome. I like it so far. It's basically a 7970, which is an older card. Uh, somewhere down here. Here, here it is. Uh, oops. What's going on here? It's, it's acting really odd. So yeah, I have a 7970. It's basically a rebuilt of the 7970 with some addition. Now when you're looking at graphics card, uh, you don't really need anything higher than 2 gigabytes if you have one monitor. Uh, if you have uh, like 3 monitors or 2 monitors, uh, you're going to want to go a little bit higher than 2 gigabytes. But other than that, you don't really need more than 2 gigabytes to do your stuff uh, for editing and even for gaming. Uh, but if you are going to make a gaming rig, you know, just go to, for like 4 or 3 gigabytes of video RAM. Uh, make sure it's of course DDR5. Uh, it's just a little specification that you see when you're looking at it. Uh, let's see, hold on, I'll show it to you. If you click on this, for example, uh, you can see it's GDDR5. Now, it's just the memory type, it's pretty fast, it's good. Uh, and if you buy this card, you get, uh, yeah, this. Uh, yeah. Uh, mm. That's pretty much it. Power supply really depends on what parts you have. Uh, so if you have, a, if the whole system uses like 400 uh, watts, uh, try to go for 700 or you know 600 if you're looking to adding another video card for Crossfire. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty. This is a pretty short video. No, it's not short, is it? Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I've been really busy, which is why I haven't been able to make a video. But I thought this related to what I was doing, so it was a good video idea. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much all. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll, I'll make that um, Call of Duty Ghost intro pretty soon once the Windows gets installed. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.